Hello, honey pie. Come over in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee fruit scones. Come on, let's get busy. <gasps> what can you find, Stephen? Oh, is it heavy, Stephen? Yeah. Let's see. Granny Murray's had this for a long time and it's got secret treasures inside. Oh, what can you see? Oh, do you like these beads? Yes. That was Granny Murray's dad's watch. Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello, dear. <laughs> Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. <gasps> come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, <laughs> gentle now, my darling. Oh, we don't want to get him overexcited, do we? Or pat him into the ground. <laughs> He loves coming here. And we love having him. Well, how about we stop the pats and we dress up Claude? Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, he'll get a good view from there while we dress Claude up in all his precious finery. <laughs> On you go, my poppets. Dr Juno, there you are. We can go to our chairs and our fancy jewels. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I love everything that looks glittery and precious. <laughs> I love it all. This necklace is gorgeous. Is it very valuable? Well, I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this. It's been in my family for hundreds of years. Oh, gosh, really? Well, I'd really rather not wear it if it means that much to you. Oh, oh my goodness, a hundred years. Oh, hell. It doesn't matter, my dad, and it's fine. Don't you oh. worry. What's broken can always be mended. I'll just gather up the beads and restring them later. Well, if you're missing a bead or two, I know my lovely Samson will help you find them. You can sniff out anything from anywhere. <laughs> oh, will you take a sniff at this? I think we're in the presence of royalty. <laughs> oh, wow, Claude, I am dazzled by your bling. You look like a million dollars. Well done, everyone. Oh, wait a minute. One million and one dollars. <laughs> oh, thank you. This will remind me of my own little shining star set. Oh, It'll add a wee bit of sparkle to your day. Bye-bye, no. <laughs> everyone. Bye-bye. Now remember, what's broken can always be mended. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine Time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. 
else for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my wet clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. <clears throat> Morning, nurse. Oh. You better take a look at these doctors, you know. I know there's quite a lot, but you know. I, I um, that's fine, thank you. Did you see what I just saw? I better sort these out then. I forgot to give you these. Oh. Th Ness Henry's wearing an earring. Do you think I should say anything? Hmm. Oops, one more file. Oh, I... Ness Henry, your ear. <laughs> You've noticed it last. I'm wearing this because my friend is a jeweller and I wondered if you'd like to see some of the jewellery he makes. <sighs> I'd love to, but can you show me later on? No problem. Oh, and Nurse Hendry, I don't think that earring's hospital regulation. Thank hmm. you. Oh, my Samson. He always makes my face light up. The water coming out the lion's mouth and all the people and right up at the top that's Queen Victoria <laughs> and look at you Samson you're good as gold <laughs> Ah, Dr. Juno, you better sit down. I've got something rather important to show you. Oh, should we go into my office then? No need. Take a look at these. Remember I told you about my friend the jeweller? Mm. Well, here are some pictures of his work. That's a necklace he made for his girlfriend. Oh, pretty. She's a lucky girl. And that's a pair of earrings he made for Tina when she played the genie of the ring in Aladdin. Oh, so intricate. Oh, and that's a brooch he made for his nan. Oh, now that is nice. So what do you think then, eh? I think your friend is a very talented man. He makes excellent jewellery. But for now, we've got a lot of hard work to do. We'd better get on with it. It's time I got on with my work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there Oh yeah I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed Yeah To hear the heart You have a little emergency. Oh. I hope it's got nothing to do with jewellery again. <laughs> well, actually, it is. Oh, Dr Juno, thank goodness. <laughs> this is my little niece. Hello. She's a bit upset. Hey, what's the matter? It's her ring. Is it stuck on your finger? Oh. No, it's stuck on mine. <laughs> I just wanted to try it on. <laughs> Could you move your fingers for me, please? Good. Well, I presume you've tried taking it off with soap. Yes. Well, your fingers are a bit swollen. Could you get me an ice pack, please, Nurse Hendry? 
I'm afraid we're going to have to cut it off, Tina. <gasps> the ring! <sighs> Nurse Hendry will do it. He's very good. And don't worry, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Now that's all sorted out, I think I'll take a break. I wonder how my golden boy Samson's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Whoop, look at this wee sparkly bouncy ball. <laughs> Ready? Ah, uh, woohoo! Come on, Samson! Samson! Drop it. Yeah, oops, here you are, my darling. Make it all. Good boy! No wonder Dr. Juno thinks you're the best dog in the world. Hi. Hello, Tina. How's the finger? Oh, it's fine. Nurse Hendry did a very good job. <laughs> the trouble is now that I can't get my niece out of hospital. Oh, why not? Uh her ring is broken. It was always so precious to her, and now I've ruined it. And she's in floods of tears, and I just don't know what to do. Don't worry, Tina. Just wait in the examination room, and I'll see what I can do. Oh dear. I've been working hard all day to help everyone. How did I end up with one very unhappy girl? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, Samson and I arrived at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray and the children had been showing off with some baubles and trinkets from Granny Murray's box of treasures. They dressed Claude in all kinds of sparkly things. Granny Murray let me wear one of her precious necklaces, but I broke it. I felt awful, but Granny Murray told me not to worry. She said she could fix it back together. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the hospital. Nurse Hendry was wearing an earring. He told me a friend of his, who is a jeweler, had made the earring. At two o'clock, Nurse Hendry told me that there was someone waiting to see me in the examination room. It was Tina. She had tried on a ring belonging to her niece and she couldn't get it off her finger. I advised Nurse Hendry to cut carefully through the ring. At three o'clock, Tina came to say that her niece was very upset. The ring was precious to her and now it was broken. Now remember, what's broken can always be mended. What's broken can always be mended. Of course, the person who can mend the ring is Nurse Hendry's friend, the man who makes all the jewellery. I must pay him a visit. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a sure thing I'm kind of she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm working for I'm gonna do it. She's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. She's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that. Blow my hand. Ta da! Thank you. Oh, oh Dr. Juno, I knew you fixed people up and helped them to get better. But jewellery? It wasn't me, it was Nurse Hendry's friend, the jeweller. He's very good at fixing things. He made me these. What do you think? I think you're a pair of sparklers. <laughs> I wonder how my little sparkler's doing now. One to go. <laughs> there you are. Through you go. That's us, Samson. <laughs> What's broken can always be mended. Good as new. Dr. Juno will be pleased. And she'll be home to pick you up soon, my darling. <coughs> yes, she will. Dr. Juno, come away in. 
Samson. Look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. What's broken can always be mended. Save the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, dancing, dancing, sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things that Rushing round, picking up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in all his precious and sparkling finery because we were having a glittery day. It was so much fun seeing the children rummaging around in my box of treasure and pulling out all sorts of things. Dr Juno came by with Samson and we put on some sparkles ourselves. Dr Juno broke my old necklace, but I didn't really mind. It could easily be fixed. After Dr Juno left for work, I took Samson to the park. We saw a lovely fountain that sparkled and glistened in the light. Later on, I played a game with Samson. I threw a ball and he had to fetch it. After that, I came home and fixed the necklace that Dr Juno had broken earlier on. And before long, I had it looking as good as new. Meanwhile, at work in the hospital, Dr Juno remembered that what's broken can always be mended. And she helped a little girl by taking her ring to the jewellers. In the end, that looked as good as new as well. Am I nice and sparkly? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to in rivers and rivers and I love to in rivers and that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, where the fairy boat sails the blue. Time to call on Granny Mar.